Good morning, good morning. It's your boy Butler, man. Let the Lord use you, Shannon. It's another day, man. Uh, it's the best day of my life. Tomorrow's not promised, man. You might as well go on and get it. Why the getting is good, for real, for real. So, uh, I'm not going to keep y'all this morning, man. I'm just going to... Uh, this post, is, and I've posted on this before, bro, but I had another homeboy who just bit the dust because he is a convicted felon with a firearm. Um... Uh, Know this. First, look, subscribe, like, comment. I want to get some feedback, especially with my ex-felons in Georgia. Or what kind of... Let's touch on some stories, man, because what's taking place, man, is like, it's, it's weird as hell. So, mind you, I got locked up in 1996 uh, under the SB 440. That's the mandatory minimum of the seven deadly sins. I got locked up for armed robbery at the age of 19, came home 2006. I was 29 years old. Um... Uh, in 2013, uh, no, 2011, I applied for a pardon. Mind you, in the state of Georgia, you have to be off of paper, out of trouble, no interaction with the police, period, under no circumstances for five years before you can put in your paperwork for a pardon. So in 2011, I started putting my paperwork in. My paperwork got denied three times, bro. Just like they denied it one time because the date was wrong on the paperwork, and they sent it back. So I was just like, bro, I my rationale was this, is that I'm probably gonna have a pistol on me. Um, so if that's if you know that's how you move and you know that's what the case, man, put your paperwork in, bro. Put your paperwork in. I am going to leave the link for the people in the state of Georgia. I'm gonna leave the link to the set, I don't know if it's the Secretary of State or the pardons or Georgia Pardons and Parole. I'm gonna leave the link in the comments, bro. Look, if you hit that link, man, and then Feel that paperwork out. Now, also, what I'll add is I got some brothers, and we're going to try to get, like, an interview going on with some of them. But I got some brothers, man, that have completed the paper, completed the recommendations, the requirements, completed the paperwork. They've had interviews. And here's the thing. When you get a pardon from the state of Georgia, they give you three things. They give you the right to bear arms. They give you the right to uh, have custody of your child. And they give you the right to run for office. So what's been taking place lately is this, is that they have been giving you all the rights except for the rights to bear arms. So what we have to do is figure out what is going on. We got to figure out how to uh, make this paperwork go on through so that everything is the way that it's supposed to be. Because it's something that's just not right, bro. It's not right. Uh, and we getting banged up every day, man. We catching these charges. You know you got that pistol on you, man. I ain't, I'm not judging nobody. I don't want to say no weird stuff. But what I'm saying is, bro, like, put your paperwork in, man. At least try to put that paperwork in because it could be a federal charge. It could just get real weird, bro. It can get real weird, man. Like, just try to put your paperwork in, bro. They're, they might deny you. I got denied. Like I said, I got denied three times. But then... Try not to lose track, man. Uh, when I got my my pardon, they actually approved it in 2013. They approved it in 2013, and then I tried to go buy a firearm, but you know I went straight down to Glenwood, and they were just like, "Oh, uh, nah, uh, uh, that's not what's going on. You're not. We don't care nothing about your pardon. I had my pardon. They was like, "But we don't care nothing about that. Your background." So then I was talking to one of my Mason brothers, and he was just like, "Oh." Uh, I was talking to BJ. I had one of my Mason brothers and one of my homeboys, BJ, the big homie. You'll see an interview with him on him. Uh, so he was just like, go down to, I was li I, I live in Rockdale County. So they was like, well, go down to the, uh, the sheriff's office. So then I was just like, I kept explaining why it wasn't going to work. He was like, Butler, bro, shut up. Like, shut up, man, and go down there and get, <laughs> go down there and get your, uh, your license to carry. So I was just like, man, bro, you don't understand, man. He was like, bro, shut up. Go put your paperwork in. So when you go down there to the sheriff's office in Rockdale County then or the courthouse, you have to put, you have to get them a self-addressed envelope. Uh, I think it costs like $78, $75 or something like that. I'm not absolutely sure. But then uh, one day I was at the mailbox. Boy, 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 boy. That license to carry came through. 
I went to the gun shop like I like I had the ace of spades. <laughs> Let me get one of these. Let me get one of those. Um so I'm this video is specifically, man, for my convicted felons on the right track, trying to stay within the law, trying to make sure that their family is straight, bro, cause to be moving around out here and not to have no protection, man, is a weird place to be, bro. It's a weird thing, man. But to be in the chain game for some natural stuff, man, something that you really need to have, bro, is even weirder, man. So link in the description, application in the description, bro. I am a convicted felon. Armed robbery was my charge. Went and got my paperwork right. And my license is good to like 2000, shit, 2025, bro. 1006. So it is a process, and you might get denied, bro, but don't stop fighting that fight, man. Get your, get it together, man. And, bro, right, whatever questions you got, bro, I'm going to answer all questions, man. But I got another brother, G Money, man. He's trying to put something together because he diving deep because he one of those people who got, he got the pardon, but then he won't. They didn't give him the li license to carry. So, man, let's get together. Let's try to figure something out, bro. But I got mine. I got mine. Today is the best day of my life, man. Hey, man, let the Lord use you, shout out. I ain't no telling what he might have for you. You know what I mean? Let the Lord use you this morning and the next morning and the next morning, man.